Hello from West Spain. We are in the UNESCO World Heritage City of Cáceres and are doing today a nice drive to another beautiful city in Extremadura, Badajoz, on the National Road N523. Let's go! We start in Cáceres, a town located in West Spain, like I said in the commun uh, autonomous community of Extremadura. It's the capital and most populous town of the province of Cáceres, with a population of almost 100,000 inhabitants. Cáceres has a rich history flourishing during uh, the Reconquista, the process of reconquering of Spain uh, by the Christians. Influential uh, Spanish families built homes and uh, palaces back then, and many locals went on trips to the Americas where they made a lot of fortune. Nowadays Cáceres is a very attractive city, visitors coming here for the rich historical heritage, with uh, remains from the Roman occupation and many old buildings dating from uh, medieval times, Moorish occupation and the golden age of uh, Jewish culture in Spain. Cáceres has four, more, um, four main areas to explore, the historical center called Ciudad Monumental, the Jewish quarter, the modern center and the um, outskirts. The medieval old town has been declared the UNESCO World Heritage Site and is very well preserved. We stayed uh, for two nights here in Cáceres, enjoyed it a lot to uh, discover the different parts of the city. Filmed also some clips from our rocks, let's see them before driving further. Hmm? Can you see Emma? Da. Hope you enjoyed the few video clips from our walks through Cáceres and uh, from here the N523 National Road has a beautiful route to Badajoz. We explore, we explore a remote region with some uh, small mountain, there so, so are some small mountain ranges to cross. They offer nice uh, wide views around. There are also some villages on the way but the area has a very low population density. We are in Sierra de San Pedro, Low Mountains region that separates the uh, basins of Tagus to the north from uh, the one of Guadiana to the south. Here the road had uh, quite some traffic as it all offers a shortcut to Portugal from Cáceres. Most of the cars and trucks um, choosing this road instead of the longer A66-A5 motorway route over Merida. 
I really enjoyed this road uh, and the landscapes around took about uh, one hour to cover the distance of about 85 kilometers. Now let's enjoy the drive with some music and I'll be back uh, near Badajoz to say a few words about the city situated uh, very close to the border with Portugal. Until then, just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride.
like I was told You're the only one I can't be sad with you Just take my hand and fly Up to the top Where the skies are so clear I wanna stay with you I wanna stay with you
Hello once again, this time from the A5 motorway. We are now driving past the city of Badajoz, the, mo uh, the motorway bypassing it to the north. Badajoz is the capital of the province of Badajoz in the autonomous community of Extremadura, being the most popular city in Extremadura with a population of about 150,000 inhabitants. The city is situated close to the border with Portugal and has also a rich history in being established as a settlement uh, as a settlement by the Romans. The Visigoths uh, inhabited also the place before it was conquered by the Moors in the 8th century, becoming a Moorish kingdom, the Taifa of Badajoz. After the Reconquista, the process of reconquering of Spain by the Christians, the city was disputed by Spain and Portugal for many centuries, remaining a Spanish uh, city at the end. The city is uh, interesting to visit with uh, landmarks from the Roman and Visi Vid Visigothic architecture as well as buildings from the Moorish period and the Middle Ages. The cathedral dates back um, to the 13th century and the Alcazaba, the Moorish citadel, was built in the 9th century. There is also a Vauban fortress dating back uh, to the 17th century to name just a few of the city's attractions but the whole central part is very interesting. Now we were just in transit around Badajoz, unfortunately had no time to stay, stop and visit the city, but we definitely want to come back to this uh, beautiful region and Badajoz will uh, definitely be high on my list then. I will end the video um, uh, here on the bypass of the city on the A5 heading to Portugal. Hope you enjoy the drive and stay tuned for more videos from our road trips that will be shared here on the channel. Bye bye until the next time.